Evans was earlier this afternoon uh, attending a roundtable with law enforcement, giving his support and talking about fun more funding for law enforcement around the country. Sheriff Kurt Freitag came up for today's event. And before we talk about the politics of this, I want to talk about the politics that you jumped in. I don't know, was it feet first or head first? You are endorsing in a TV commercial uh, first congressional congressman, Republican Jim Hagedorn. Right. How did that come about, and what made you decide to go ahead and publicly endorse a candidate? Well, it came about with uh, Jim Hagdorn just asking me if I'd be interested in doing an advertisement in support of his campaign. And, you know, we talked a little bit, and he told me that he's got a very strong stance on um, supporting law enforcement, keeping law enforcement funded, making sure that in Minnesota, law enforcement uh, is a robust um, part of all of our communities and counties throughout the state, at least you know, his district, our district. And that was something you needed to hear? That I needed to hear that, definitely. And so because of that, I said, yeah, absolutely, I'll endorse you on this. And so we got together at a later date, did the commercial, and then it just started airing here Past the last Monday. couple of last week or so. Right. Uh, I have to imagine you have heard feedback. We have heard some feedback about it because to be public and endorse a candidate shows your politics. Right. Um, I have received feedback. I've gotten probably six emails, and for the most part, the emails are people asking for clarification. Um, basically asking me why do I think that law enforcement is being defunded. And so I'll give my reasons on the way I see it. And, you know, they, they thank me in a return email and they say, well, I'm going to vote one way or the other on the third. It is, uh, you are in an elected position. Right. Do you worry about re-election should you seek? another term you have two more years on this current term but do you worry i mean you you could ha you could polarize you know i i guess i could polarize but you know in law enforcement it's it's not a republican and democratic thing really in how we carry out our duties our duties are driven by uh policy procedure state statute and so because of that we treat everybody fairly and we're very consistent in how we you know, treat people regardless of their race. All right, I'm going to take a break. We'll come right back and right. we'll have another piece to this conversation. We'll be right back next to the airport. So if you hear some of those loud planes or any construction, that's why. I'm speaking with Freeborn County Sheriff Kurt Freitag, talking about the politics uh, leading up to the general election. You endorsed a Republican candidate. You've gotten some feedback. Um, the event that happened today, I know that you like to hear that there is a lot of support. I asked a question for you because you and I spoke before this event right. and I said, what would you want the vice president to answer? And so I asked him uh, your question and that is, you talk a lot about support, you talk a lot about funding for law enforcement. How can you do it? I think we heard some of that today and they want to add law enforcement, but can the federal government really do anything about it? Yeah, um, you know, there's federal government, state government, county, local, and there's uh, different aids that are given to local and, and counties. And I'm not really sure how, maybe through grants or whatever, that the uh, Republicans can assist us in making our law enforcement in Minnesota even more robust, um, helping us to add more um, people in our sheriff's offices in our departments so that we're able to better respond to things that are going on in our communities. What if Jim Hagedorn doesn't win another term and a Democrat goes into office? Are you afraid that you could um, lose some support for having come out supporting a Republican in this election? I'm not really worried about that. You know, I've been with I've been Freeborn County's sheriff for about six years now, and I think for the most part, people know that I'm a hard worker. I give my word, I stand by my word. I try to do the very best that I can with what I have. We've got a very good, competent staff 
both in the uh, on the road, in the jail, our office support. We've got a great team. How's everything been going these last about five months or so since everything came out with George Floyd? I know at one point, Freeborn County was possibly looking at having some protests as well. So have things quieted down in your county? Things have quieted down and it's not like they're ramped up real high either. Right. But we were sending some of our personnel over to other communities that needed help. We had personnel up in Minneapolis, here in Minneapolis. We had people over in Olmstead County, Steele County, Moore County, helping out. And when it was our turn, they sent personnel to us. And so we help each other out and it works out great. What about people who think if you're supporting a Republican, you must be a Republican. And when I call law enforcement or 911, if you think we don't agree politically, are you going to help me? Absolutely. Everybody is going to get the very best that we can give regardless, like I said, regardless of race, age, gender, whatever. Politics. Politics. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same professional treatment. Sheriff Kurt Freitag, thank you for staying with me to do this.